it's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests a driver's patience. And the flat, open to the elements location, tests their skill in a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing and overtaking is available into turn one and, of course, down the kilometre-long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel, Iceman, Perez, Norris, Albon, and Lance Stroll, Ricardo, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Kvyat, Magnussen, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Which of these ten? Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top ten finish. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. So today we're back at the Ch Chinese Grand Prix. Oh, actually, at the Shanghai Grand Prix in China. Uh, we didn't do too bad at first. I looked at the track and like, huh, this looks familiar, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Then once I saw corner tur and turn number 14, I was like, oh, okay. I remember playing this a few years ago. Uh, now our strategy is because we're doing five on softs, 11 on mediums and 12 mediums. Okay, and let's see, we'll have a nice day for the race. Uh, we really didn't do too bad in qualifying. We were just above uh, Norris, which was nice. We beat her. Okay, now we should get a decent start here. It's not policy for the wheel. Not too bad of a start so far. Get out of here. I know this is technically cutting a corner. Well, actually, it's not, not cutting a corner. I lose so much time in second two. That's a strong start. Well done. Ah, right, let's go. Let's go, McLaren. Lay in the brakes there. Okay, so they take a really wide line through there. Really narrow. Utilize some of this energy. Gap to car in front is 2.1 seconds. Lost a bit of traction energy to get back onto. Jeez. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Mm. 
Okay, the safety car is out. The safety car is out. We need Confirm. to form up at a reduced pace. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. Confirm. Confirmed. Okay, I guess this kind of works out with the safety car. Jeez. I gotta watch out that corner there. Lando is gonna be out before we get there. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's make our way back up. that ear ass off. Not too bad of a move. Metal, where you so goddamn slow on that corner? Clock 
plus one lap of extra fuel. Fuel target plus one. Oh, just falling to battle. I gotta really pass this guy. He's annoying the hell out of me. Jeez, this is a big cut. Yeah, DRS. Bad entrance and exit at that corner, but we passed Vettel and was Russell, I believe that's what it was. We're up to a back up to our boy Landon Norris. And I feel like Vettel didn't like that we passed him. Danny Kivia, get the front wing out of the way. If it takes too much damage, tool strategy is available on the MFT. Keep current. Goban confirmed a new strategy is available on the MFT. Keep current. Okay, copy that. Danny keep it always getting in the way. He's I feel like he's the bane of my existence right now, honestly. We're trailing our teammate by 1.8 seconds. We have engine 62 percent too. That's not really good. Well, we're gonna have to push hard. New mediums. New front wing again. Brakes are still bloody hot. Exit. Exit now. Was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. No more scheduled pit stops. Damn. I don't know if I can do this many laps on mediums. But we'll see what we can do. Overtake and burn some of this energy. I right, will.
do that much damage on the front wing I had to. I was, I was losing so much time around those corners. I just wrestle and just roll down our pitting. I'm assuming they're going in for hearts. Now they just look at pits, I believe. There is George Russell. I'm gonna squeeze out you here, bud. Sorry. But I don't have time to wait. seconds. Let's do one more lap, we can check and see how far we away we from Grosjean. Everybody else has, to, has a pit to go. We don't know if we should have another one, but we will go on softs if we have another set of softs. That would be nice. Like six laps. They turn in. Much earlier turn ins. Keep these in the pit. No, back up, back up. On the greatest re-entry. I don't know when my car lost that much down. Latifi, move it! I'm like an old grandma, go! Just dive bomb this guy. Okay, so he was the TP's out. Albums are in front of us. Landon Norris is not that far away. I think he's a few spots ahead. Oh, he might actually be much further than I think he is. Flag ahead. Oh, 
Okay, you need to give that position back. That was an illegal overtake. I guess that was an illegal overtake, whatever. And stroll. We're down a little bit on power as well. Albon, you asshole. Went out of neutral by accident. We're trailing our teammate by 11.7 seconds. See if we can make these tires last. Eight more laps. Catch up and see anything we can do. These are all somewhat close to each other, so it's a maybe for us. Kevin Magnuson. I 
I went up a little bit, not too much. I just all want to go by back to some damage. Faster engine modes are available. to start falling away soon. Aye. Give me DRS. Oh my god, Vettel! The tool! There's three laps of fuel remaining. I don't know if it's going to be way too far ahead to catch up. Yeah. We're pushing it. Catch Pierre Gasly or no? I don't think so. Maybe.
Maybe next lap. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. I didn't think I was gonna hit him there. That might have just lost me out of place. Six point one seconds. All that fuel. Oh yes. Ooh. All right, race oh over. man, that was rough. That was crazy. So another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think a large part... And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. Oh, well, it's not too bad. Today, oh, we definitely had a couple of mix-ups. played their part. Congratulations. The last part definitely was a bit tricky. I and shouldn't have went for that move. the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Valtteri Bottas passes his rival mm -hmm. to take over the lead of the driver's championship. Some Lando amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Oh, yeah. Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible yeah, performance. Yeah, good 11. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula 1. Okay, so we didn't really get any points there. Oh, no, we didn't. Never mind. Yeah, we did. So we got 6. Lando got 8. That's good. So we were a little bit faster than Lando, but we had a few mix-up. I think maybe like another couple laps. Another few laps, we probably would have been able to catch him. Uh, but not bad overall. Uh, no, I don't want highlights. Go back. Uh, standing wise, we're still we're sixth place, right behind. So it was both Mercedes, Red Bulls, one Ferrari. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Uh, that comes to an end of this episode. That's not too bad of a race. We definitely had a lot of mix up, um, mess ups. But let's see what we have for interview questions. What do we got? Actually, yeah. Before the episode ends. Great work out there today. Let's see what they got. Your team uh, must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Uh, th they are. I do it just to see a smile on their faces. I'm really glad I live up to their expectations. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You lost your teammate today. Was it just not your day? Uh, they handled the chassis beautif beautifully. Beautiful. I need to learn how they did that. Uh, they got every last bit of power out of power out of our power unit. Uh, that. You had a few bumps and scrapes today. Who would you say is at fault? 
Uh, I had the line. Alexander was totally in the wrong. Well, I didn't hit Alexander, I don't think. Maybe. Heads up. I think it was my fault. I apologize. We're all on top of our game. Accidents happen sometimes. That's what it is. Great. Well, that's was my like fault. It. I'm not going to admit that. Okay, rivalry back down. Oh, did he not wait? He finished. What happened to Esteban Ocon? Did he get completely wiped out? I don't know. We'll have to, ch we'll have to check and see. Uh, but yeah, that concludes this episode. That concludes this Grand Prix. Uh, wasn't too bad. Definitely could have been better. Uh, we really got to watch our front wing as always. Uh, but. We'll, we'll have to go through a couple uh, upgrades for our car, get a couple maintenance issues down, maybe replace our ICE. But until then, we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.